Children of all ages can benefit enormously from visiting a working dairy farm. From providing a stimulating hands-on experience right through to a practical demonstration of some of the varied career options, there's something on offer for all ages and abilities, from early years to post-16s. Farming and Countryside Education, or FACE, has worked with the Agriculture and Horticulture Development Board's Milk Division, Dairy Co, to produce this film. It will help to demonstrate the benefits of farm visits and answer some of the questions teachers might have. Many children today, even when they are from a rural location, they still don't actually connect very well the milk they drink, the cheese they eat, the burgers they have, with actually the countryside and farmers working in the countryside. So I just want to help bring that connection together. I'm all for hands-on, so I was insistent that the children did touch the clusters and they put their fingers in to, to feel the clusters. I made them feel the milk powder that we use because that's a different sensation. They could pick up the calf pellets that we feed the calves. Again, that was a different sensation. I want them to realise where their food comes from, how we care for the animals, how we care for the environment, so that they feel a bit more connected with the countryside around them. Sometimes I worry that kids have got a Disney ideal of what a farm is like um, and they don't realise that it's a business and they have got to feed the nation. They can ask questions to experts, they ask me questions I might not necessarily know everything there is to do about farming, whereas here they've got the experts here and they can speak to them. Teachers are recommended to visit the farm before the day to understand what to expect and what the farm has to offer, so they can be fully prepared and aware of the surroundings. It is also a good opportunity to talk to the farmer and be reassured about any health and safety concerns. I don't know that how many schools would be aware that many of these farms that do school trips would provide a risk assessment already created for the children coming around because as a teacher rather than a farmer there's no way I could come around a farm and I correctly identify all of the risks but they do that for you. It makes it very easy for, for me as a teacher to um, advertise it to my students and to the parents and I don't really have to do too much at all which is good. Many farmers have been trained in hosting school visits and their experience at making both teachers and pupils feel welcome. They will reinforce the health and safety and behavioural expectations that have been set by the teacher and will be able to make sure the visit is safe and enjoyable. FACE can help you find the right farmer for whatever topic and age range you are teaching. Many teachers are surprised by the wide range of curriculum subjects that can be covered during a farm visit. Whether you're looking at maths, geography, literacy, art or science or a range of other topics, make sure you talk to the farmer in advance to make it clear what your objectives are. When we have initial contact from the teacher, um, we'll ask them is there anything particular that they're looking for and then we obviously discuss age group and how many are coming. If we get anybody who's a bit older, sort of secondary school age, we can discuss what they're looking for. A visit by a reception class could focus on the animals, learning where milk comes from, and how the farmer looks after the cows. The same trip can be a valuable learning tool for A-level scientists researching genetics or nutrition. For those studying engineering and technology, the farm can give an engaging insight into how the modern dairy industry operates. Remember that the farmer is a mine of information, so make sure you fully utilise their knowledge and experience. We've been doing lots of different things with the geography of consumption and um, we've been looking at like kind of waste and recycling um, but this is kind of the farming aspect of it and it's something that stereotypically students have often been turned off with and this it really like excites them. They go into the school and they show all of the, the photos of them with the animals and actually you know, they, they, they really enjoy it so then we're able to ignite their passion in the classroom with the resources that have been provided for us. I really enjoyed looking at the milking parlour and learning like where our milk comes from at breakfast because you don't really think about it, you just you know, go into the fridge, open it, but it's really interesting to know where food comes from. I think the smell comes along without the classroom really, but um, yeah, I guess you sort of see it happening and like you wouldn't be able to see what a calf does and like stroke a calf and sort of see how it feels and stuff, uh, even in a classroom, and it wouldn't, so it's better to come to a farm and see it all happening. 
it's just a great experience for them to be walking around and actually talking to each other while they're seeing things rather than being constrained behind a desk. And I wish all learning could be outside and not behind a desk. It's always useful to do some preparatory work with students before a visit and it will be easier if you have visited the farm in advance. You can then tell your pupils what to expect and explain what you want them to look out for. For example, they might start researching a topic with the aim of finding out the answers during the visit. After a visit, any follow-up classroom activities will be age-dependent. Primary children will be able to use their literacy skills to write to or email the farm to offer thanks or ask further questions. It might even be possible to invite the farmer into school so that the children can learn more about what goes on at the farm at other times of the year. In these ways, it's possible to plan a whole term's work based on a single visit. It provides the teachers with a huge amount of resources that they can then use later on in the year. So they'll keep coming back to, do you remember our farm visit? And if they were doing science, maybe they'll then talk about the fertiliser and the rain and the, the soil type and the grass growth. I've approached it particularly thinking about science because there's lots of links, microorganisms, when we were looking at the slurry and um, the composts, all of the um, materials and their processes, it links in very, very neatly to the science curriculum. And I'm going to do a lesson which will complete the journey of milk from the cow to their mouth. But you could tie it in, you know, into anything you, would, you wanted to do, really. And that's the beauty of it being completely open and creative. To see them all so engaged with what they're doing and for them to see the animals and for them to smell the farm, they go back absolutely buzzing about the experience. It teaches them the practicalities, the reasons why we are teaching these things in the classroom. They can see it firsthand and they realise it could potentially be a future for them. They will remember a farm trip with their friends for the rest of their lives. I hope that the children um, have got now some understanding about where their milk comes from. Instead of having it on a poly bottle on the kitchen table, which they pour over their cereal, grab a drink of it and then rush off to school, I hope they understand exactly where that milk comes from. In every case we are trying to bring some reality into uh, what they have learnt in the classroom, what they've seen in a PowerPoint or a book or whatever it might be. I know when we've had a successful visit, everybody's smiling. The teachers are smiling, I'm smiling, the kids are smiling. Everybody goes back on the bus with a big grin on their face. There are lots of organisations, including FACE and AHDB, which can help with signposting to resources, finding a farm, suggesting curriculum links and offering advice. We look forward to receiving your inquiries and we'll be happy to support your visit and enhance your pupils' learning. You should also look out for Open Farm Sunday and the Open Farm School Days, which are held every year in June and offer a great opportunity for schools to sample farm visits across the country.